so yes, um, the cruise, the aquarium, then the museum in Savo West. Yes, the the wildlife museum. Yes. Tell me about the wildlife museum. How how that have worked? Um, well, the the concept was, of course, one we would um, showcase a completely environmentally sustainable structure. You know, run completely on solar. The water system would be recycling. So everything was very much uh, green. Yeah. That was the first thing. Then even the structure itself would, would be designed in a way so it blends with the environment, mm -hmm. but, but constructed so it takes maximum benefit of the environment around it. Mm -hmm. You know, sunlight and all that. And, the, the material was also going to be very natural. You would not be importing anything for that. And it would be basically from that environment itself. Inside would be, uh, there would be no live or even um, real specimens of dead animals or anything like that. It yeah. would be all augmented reality. So you would okay. interact. With wildlife, with like holograms wildlife. of exactly of wildlife, yes, and where they came from, and yes, and then we had everything in place, mm -hmm. the design of the structure, yeah, and then um, the augmented reality was also to be done by a firm in Manchester. Mm -hmm. They're very much interested in, in that mm -hmm. model. Um, so all we had to do, the design work was free. Yeah, Com you know, was a pro bono. Uh -huh. um, so all we had to do was to raise the money to build it. Yeah, if I recall, and that's basically where we had to leave it because we left. <laughs> um, and I don't think they're even looking at it now. Yeah, un unfortunately, because um, again, now that is another thing that would be a huge profit making. Yes enterprise exactly and especially it being in uh, Savo yes and it will open up to data Veta. yes and it would be a great stopover yes because it was close to the highway yeah and the SGR as well in Voi exactly and even the SGR said yes we could arrange a stopover yeah for special um, trips trips to the, to the yeah Valley like Museum. during the holidays yeah. they would introduce uh, an extra uh, train mm -hmm. to take for tourism. Yeah. To take people there, then they go to Savo, etc. Mm -hmm. And there would be stop of any Mali for those going to Amboseli, you know, all yeah. that. It would yeah. be a tourism product. Mm -hmm. And even the tourism operator loved it. And they said, we could actually sell this yeah. as a new product. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was also centered around Manitas. Yes, the, 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 the lions of Manitas yes. of Savo. The caves are not far yeah. from where we were going to put up the museum. So we located it in a place where you could do Zima Springs, Manitas, and the museum. The museum. Right? Wow. Yeah. And then the Manitas itself, or part of the project, they would be refurbished. Yeah. You know, to make them look more attractive. Right now, it's just a bunch of rocks. Yeah. You can't even climb down <laughs> if you're having problems you with the Legos. Yeah. So all that and, and, and even Zima Springs was mm -hmm. going to be refurbished and all that. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching that highlight video. If you want to watch the full conversation that we had on the game drive, uh, click here. I'm going to put it here. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe if you haven't already or even share with anyone who would be interested in this conversation um, it helps my channel and it helps me make more videos like this asante bye